Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty in Chapter Twenty Three. Chapter Twenty Three is about electric potential. This is a follow-up problems for problem thirty-eight. We can see we have the load. The length is two L. The charge, um, just distributed on it follow this uh function with x, right? Now we need to find the potential. Um, points along the y-axis and the points along the x-axis. So how can we do that? We can see, um, we can cut this uh, road in infinity small fractions. One of the fractions look like this one, and then the location we interest on the y-axis we call it p. Okay. Now, if we want to find the potential. That is a p, so we can see the charge carried by this small fraction dq over four pi is not r, right? The r is the distance from the position p to this charge location, and then this is a x plus this is a y. Agree? So the r can write as a function x plus squared plus y squared then squared. Now, can you find the charge carried by this small fraction? Yes, we can use the charge density times the dx plus, right? dx plus is a length for this small fraction, and then input is a lambda charge density as a times x plus times dx plus, right? Yes. Now we input dq and r in this v function. We can see simplify it. Take all the con all the constant out. Then you can see in this integral, uh, very easily we will find it's zero. If you couldn't do that, you can check your mathematical handbook. But there is one simple way to do that. You can see, look at the function x plus divided by squared x plus squared plus y squared. This is a odd function. Do you agree? And it. It is do the integral from the negative l to l. This is a mirror symmetry. So all the function do this uh, integral from the negative l to l just a zero. Mm -hmm. The second case points along the x axis. So now we consider this point position is p along the x axis, right? And then similarly, the distance from the p to this uh, small fraction charge we can write it as x. Minus x plus, so write it there, and also we can get the charge carried by this small fraction dq as charge density times this fraction length x plus. Now write down we input the charge density as a x plus dx plus. Now input dq, and this r inside. We can see the function look like this one. Just take the constant out. And do this integral. You can check your test, your mathematical handbook. Get the answer at there. Thank you.